Hi guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am talking about the 10 books of 2019 in the non-fiction category, which I found to be the best. Note that not all these books are published in 2019, but rather read by me in 2019. But a significant number is also books that were published in 2019. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. And yeah, the first book that I recommend is a book that I read on Storytel. A lot of these books that I read in the non-fiction category these, this year were not books that I purchased, but rather listened as an audiobook on Storytel. So I would recommend you guys to get the free trial code, storytel.com slash if you want to as well. So this book is called The Winner's Brain and I absolutely loved it. This book was very unique in its own kind. Throughout the year, I read a lot of books about success, studying and productivity, but this sort of amalgamates the whole thing and then gives you even more ideas about how you can be successful. What is the type of mentality that you should have if you want to be successful in life, if you want to win in the field that you are good at. So I will highly recommend this book to you guys if that is something that you are looking for. The next book that I recommend is this book and it was published in 2019 and this is the rudest book ever. This book is written by Shwetab of Men Sutra. So a lot of you guys already know about this book. I have already made a video even about this. And this is hands down one of the best nonfiction books of 2019. It's written so well. It's a beautiful book if you want to motivate yourself and you are the kind of person who just feels very lazy because you know whenever I watch Shwetab's videos I feel very motivated and this book does the same. I already have made a video about the part of this book which deals with rejection. However, there are several other topics that this particular book deals with and I'm sure that you'll find them interesting. So yeah, maybe grab it. The link to this book and all the books will be in the description below by the way. The next book that I'll recommend to anyone who wants to find their passion is called Ikigai. A lot of you guys have already watched the video I made on the book called Ikigai called How to Find Your Passion. But if you haven't watched it, maybe you watch it now. I'll leave a chart here, but guys, you have to read this book if you want a direction in your life. So yeah, maybe do that. The next book is also a storytell read and I think there are two narrators here. I forgot which narrator I listened to, but you can choose the one you like best. But this book was called 13 Things Mentally Strong People Do Not Do. And I loved it. Um, I am someone who I will call mentally a bit weak, okay? I get offended easily. I get sad easily. I get very emotional. But this book sort of helps me control that. Again, it's a process. It's not like I read this book today and tomorrow I'm a strong person. But you need to know things to apply them to your life, right? So if you are someone who is mentally weak, vulnerable, emotional, and you don't want to be that kind of a person, because hey, there's nothing wrong with being emotional, regardless of your gender. But sometimes people do take advantage of that. And we really do not want that, do we? So this book is very good for those people. The next book was one of the anticipated nonfiction releases of this year. And it's called The 5 AM Club. I have a review of this book already on my channel. Maybe you can check it out. But this book was extremely helpful. Now, a lot of you guys asked me if I wake up at 5 AM now. Sadly, I do not. But the thing is, I feel more you know, aware of what I'm doing in the morning. I do a lot of things that I learn from this book because this book is not just about how to wake up at 5 a.m. It's also about how to do things in life so that you go towards your goal, how to do things productively. What are the practices that you should incorporate in your life before having breakfast? So there's a lot more going on in this particular book than just waking up at 5 a.m. So maybe you should buy this book if you want to like improve your life in all aspects. But again, Waking up at 5 a.m. is also a crucial part of it. Sorry, I have not been able to achieve it. Um, I don't, I, the thing is I feel really tired when I wake up at 5 a.m. If you guys have tips for me, leave them in the comment section below. The next book that I will recommend is today's sponsored book recommendations and it's called Thinking by Tamim Ahmed. I am not sure if you can see it by the way, but this is a book that focuses on how to change your mind to make more effective and better decisions in life so that you can build a better life around you in general, okay? Now, if you are interested in reading self-improvement books, if you like self-improvement books, this is a very short guide, okay? If you are someone who feels like reading a 200-page book to incorporate a change into your life does not seem like a good idea, this book is just about 30 pages. But yeah, you should keep in mind that despite being small, it does have everything that you need to reprogram your life and 
take it towards a better direction. And the author does it in four steps. The number one step is to train yourself to think realistically and positively. Like a lot of times when we are realistic, we think like the world is unfair and we are not going to be able to do anything. So why even try? Well, not that. You think real, but you also think positively. So that is very crucial. Sometimes people think that people who think positive are just thinking unreal things. Well, sometimes yes, but not always. Okay. You can be both realistic and positive at the same time. And that is like the number one step in order to reprogram your thinking. Next step he suggests is to practice effective problem solving and decision making skills. And oh my God, this is so important. When we face a problem, the way we deal with it says more about us than about the problem. Okay. Whenever you face a bad situation, just, just walk back and think what you are doing or what you are deciding, how is it going to affect you 10 years later or something like that. That is what I do. You have to read this book to understand what the author suggests because I'm not going to give you a lot of spoilers here. I feel that these two parts in this book, especially the one regarding decision making, was extremely helpful for me because I'm the kind of person who is very indecisive. I really, like, the thing is I have a lot on my plate. It's not like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do first. So yeah, that happens with me. Let me know what happens with you. And the last step he suggests is to work on strengthening your memory. Okay. And yeah, that is something that comes like a follow up to the next, but it's also very helpful in its own way. I think memory is one of those things that you can't do without in life. Like other skills, you may have them, you may not have them, but memory is one skill that you should positively have because it's not just about studies or work. It's basically about daily functioning in your life and the better memory you have, the better life you will have. So read a lot about improving your memory. I have suggested other books in the past as well, but this book sort of has it all summed up. So maybe you can give it a try. I'll give a link in the description below. And thanks again to the author for sponsoring today's video. The next nonfiction book will be Crushing It by Gary V. This is sort of like a follow up to his first book, Crush It, but it's much better. Okay, if you have to buy one book and I think you should buy only this book and it's gonna be enough if you want to. I'm not sure if this book is available on storage although I'll have to check. This book is like a how-to guide to anyone who wants to make a career in social media. If you want to be a YouTuber, Instagrammer, blogger, TikToker, you have to read this book. This book gives you a lot of ideas about how to go famous, how to make money online, how to build a community, how you should conduct yourself online so that you build a nice audience. Basically everything that you may ever need. Gary Vee is like a master of social media. And if you are someone who follows Gary Vee, you already know that he also has a podcast. He makes a lot of content online. Okay. So if you're exposed to him already, you might know a lot about this book. But if not, maybe you should buy it. The next book that I'll recommend is any books from the John Gray series, Mars and Venus. These books are about women and men and the differences between them. I think a lot of the differences between men and women is because both of them want the other to understand themselves like they do. But the thing is like the brains, the bodies, etc., are programmed in a very different way in men and women, which is why like most of the conflict actually occurs. And reading these books will give you a very, very good idea about the opposite gender, which is very important to build and sustain good relationships. I think it's very easy to say like boys don't understand, boys are very bad or girls are all gold diggers, but it's definitely not like that. Girls and boys are both very human, very fallible, very amazing. And you really need to understand why and how to deal with them. And books like these will help you sustain better relationship, which is why I will recommend this towards the end of 2019 because we're walking into a new decade and we want good relationships, right? Because I want the next year of my life to be filled with a lot of positivity. Like 2019 has been good, but it has also been very bad with me in terms of relationships. And uh, yeah, it's not, good. it's not good at all. The next book that I recommend is called Warren Buffet Speaks. If you want to make and invest money, like more than make, invest money, and then you make money after investing it, you should read Warren Buffet books, books that are, recommend, that are recommended by Warren Buffet as well. He is one of those people who is like the king of shares and stocks and you really need to learn a lot from him. Um, I actually was, I became aware of these things called investments, stock shares in 2019 when I turned 20 and 
I was so blown away okay I knew a little bit ever since I was 18 but it was only like this year where I started understanding more about it like what is investment where should you invest which what is returns what is low risk like I didn't know anything like about all this and there are some really really good channels out there like Saloni Srivastava the urban fight which make really good videos on these topics maybe you should check them out because that's how I got my ideas but the thing is like do something about it and if you want to read a good book about investing I think Warren Buffet is really good there's also an Indian book that I recommend all the time it's up there and I'm feeling too lazy to bring it down now but it's called Master Your Money Master Your Life by Abhishek Kumar and it is also one of the best books on money that I have read in 2019 and it's more relevant to Indians because at the end of the day Warren Buffet is not Indian and a lot of things are not available in India that are suggested in those money making books okay so I think Indian authors are like falling behind in terms of making money and investing money books but I think we are going to be getting there next year the next book that I'll recommend is also a story to read it's called 168 hours which is basically the number of hours in a week and it is great if you want to be more productive if you understand want to understand how to invest your time in things that you love need to do and just are bound to do and I absolutely love this book because it sort of opened my eyes to how much time I have like most of the times like seven days a week seems too short like it seems like it was just day one of the month yesterday and it's day 30 today it feels crazy okay I don't know how time passes and we are just all growing older and it's it's sort of overwhelming but reading books like these make you well equipped to deal with time time management in general that is and I think this is a great recommendation if you want to manage your time better and understand why you really have enough time to do all the things you love. The last book that I'll recommend is A Monk's Guide to a Clean House and Mind. I feel like your mind and house reflect a lot about who you are and this book is something that will help you understand yourself, your surroundings and you know your life better. This book is so good I can't even but I kept it towards the end because I think in the non-fiction category the previous books were more relevant towards life but this is no less okay like the next time your mom is like hey clean your room and you are like no mom I don't wanna maybe you will read this book and you know accept your mom's request and pro totally shock her so yeah guys these were the best books of 2019 for me let me know what were the best books of 2019 in the non-fiction category for you in the comment section below the fiction category video is gonna come out very soon just give me some time because like I read a lot more fiction books last year so I read about close to 40 non-fiction books this year but I think I read about 50 or so fiction books so yeah the number is higher there also like regarding non-fiction it's really easy to categorize books as like and don't like but it's not that easy for fiction give me some time okay guys and yeah I'll be seeing you guys with another video next week till then bye bye